Claire O'Neill on 7.30 last night. Victoria's COVID outbreak has renewed calls for national quarantine facilities, a cause that independent MP Zali Stegall is firmly backing. Tomorrow, she'll be filing a motion pushing for a more effective vaccination rollout and a clear roadmap for reopening Australia's border. Zali Stegall joins us now from Parliament House. Good morning to you. Welcome to News Breakfast. Good morning, Lisa. Now, you're putting this motion forward tomorrow. What are you hoping to achieve with it? Well, I think we need to have this discussion in Parliament. We need to have a debate about what is actually the future plan for Australia. We need a roadmap of where Australia is heading. We can't keep uh, living in just a bubble. Uh, we do need to ensure that we can safely do this. We see with the outbreak in Victoria, hotel quarantine is not fit for purpose. So we need a plan towards increasing our capacity quarantine capacity and that means uh, I think the federal government has to step up to this responsibility. And isn't that what National Cabinet was supposed to be doing discussing this? I mean do you feel that the uh, the, the venues for this kind of discussion aren't being uh, aren't taking place? Well, no, and I think we've had over 12 months, I think 14 months now since March 2020 when we locked down. Now, a lot of measures were put in place as an emergency, but with a view that the government was working on a long-term plan. And we just haven't seen that long-term roadmap, whether uh, it was around the vaccination rollout, where we are way behind. And we have to understand there are so many uh, triggers to and consequences to failing these roadmaps uh, and failing to meet these thresholds. Things like I've, I wrote to the government back in August last year about extending the categories of exemptions for travel to family members, for example, for pe and visa holders for people who are in the country. Now, the bottleneck for more, uh, more people to be allowed to travel is quarantine capacity. So if we increase our quarantine capacity, we can then start to have uh, a more compassionate approach to Australians uh, being able to see family and travel. Now, it just does beg the question, what has the government been doing for the last 14 months? There were some clear uh, jobs that needed to be done. And maybe instead of focusing on a gas folly, the government really should have been focusing on its vaccine rollout and quarantine capacity. And so if you'd had a, a roadmap with specific goals that were aimed for, you know, would that help Victoria at the moment? Well, I think if we had actually had the government uh, act upon the recommendation of the Halton Review, for example, that fit for purpose quarantine facilities needed to be established and needed to be ready with surge capacity so that we could very promptly accelerate. So a situation like India, for example, let's not forget, we, the government decided to leave Australians stranded abroad and threatened them with jail for coming home. We now have a situation with aged care residents not protected, not va yet vaccinated, we have another breakout that has come from hotel quarantine. Were you surprised? Uh, were, were, were you surprised when we learned about things yesterday that aged care workers were still not vaccinated? Uh, shocked, yes. Surprised, no. Unfortunately, the point of having goals and targets and roadmaps is it provides accountability. It means you have to uh, put all energy and efforts towards rolling out. Um, unfortunately, because we have this sort of nebulous idea that uh, we're getting there, but look, it's bubble Australia, so we're OK, don't have to do anything in a hurry. You've got this situation where it isn't happening and there isn't the scrutiny. We now have another outbreak. We have vulnerable Australians at risk and so now we have a lot more pressure coming on the government which is good and which is the purpose of the motion tomorrow. There are so many sectors in the Australian population that are calling for a roadmap of how is a safe Australia going to move on um, and there simply are no answers coming from the government at the moment. Two, two more quick things um, on financial help for Victoria. Should the federal government be stepping in? Uh, yes, I believe they should, just as when the Northern Beaches had a lockdown at Christmas at 2020 uh, and there was a call for extending the definition of uh, emergency disasters to include a pandemic lockdown so that when you have to shut down businesses and this is mandated by a health order, this is done by government, uh, that there should be support that steps in, just like when you have floods or bushfires or other natural disasters. This just, pandemic is a natural disaster. And just briefly, Labor's still calling for an independent inquiry into uh, Christian Porter, saying that it still has not been answered whether he is a proper person to sit in federal cabinet. Do you also believe that there needs to be further investigation? 
Look, I made the call early on that I felt we really should have the advice of the Solicitor General in respect uh, to this situation because, look, the, the Christian Porter is no longer the Attorney General. He has stepped down from that role, but he still has a very important minister role and is on in the Cabinet. Uh, I believe that is very much why we have the Solicitor General to advise the Parliament and the Government on the proper course of action. All right. Zali Stegall, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.